guys! As you can see from the title of this video, today I'm going to do kind of a compare and contrast of Insanity and Focus T25. If you're not aware, Focus T25 is basically like an accelerated version of Insanity. Um, so I have done both programs from start to finish. I have posted both results from both videos on this channel here. I got insane results from Insanity. I got decent results from Focus 25. So I wanted to kind of break down each one, tell you maybe the differences, maybe which one is more worth your time, whatever, all the information that you need to make a decision. Now Insanity has been out for a few years now, like probably what, like three years? I'm not even sure. Focus C25 is relatively new and has only been out, I think, since about July. So it's still pretty new, pretty fresh. And let's just kind of jump right into the likes and the differences of the two. First and foremost, I feel like the first thing I absolutely need to say is that Insanity is an incredibly grueling program. I have people come to me all the time telling me they want to do Insanity or they purchase Insanity to do it because they know, basically they know that they're going to get results with Insanity. The thing is, Insanity is not for everyone and I believe I mentioned this before but Insanity is definitely not for everyone. It is very mentally tough um, the first month but then the second month especially, the second month is longer and we'll get into that later but it is very mentally challenging and if you are not truly ready for a change, if you are not truly ready to challenge yourself, Insanity, I can tell you right now, is not going to be for you. While Focus T25 is, you know, it's difficult, it's just as difficult, or it's just as difficult as Insanity, but it's not as drawn out. So while you are pushing your body to the extreme, you're not pushing your body to the extreme for an hour a day, which is exhausting for anyone. Now, who these products are marketed towards? Insanity is marketed towards, you know, people who want high intensity cardio with plyometric training, lots of jumping, use of your own body to get results. It's very fast, very quick. It's really marketed towards people who are a little more I don't want to say fit, but while tons of people do it as a beginner, it's not necessarily marketed towards a beginner. Whereas Focus T25 is intense, but it's more cardio based and weight based in the second month, so you're not having to do as much jumping, as much plyometric training, and it's a little less intense on your muscles, your joints, knees, back, that kind of thing. I would say the biggest drawback to Insanity is that there is no modifier. Insanity is take it and go with it, you get what you see. Everything that Shanti does, you are doing to the best of your ability. Whereas Focus T25 has a moderator in Tanya. So if you are someone who needs a little less impact, then you follow the moves that the moderator is doing. You're still working out and you're still pushing as hard as you can push, but you're not having to do as much of the jumping as everybody else. Modify, modifier Focus T25 Focus T25, no modifier, Insanity. Now let's talk about equipment. For Insanity, you don't need anything. You only use your body. Everything is done through the use of your body. Through jumping, lunging, push-ups, everything that you are going to obtain from Insanity is going to be from the use of your body. Focus T25, in the second month, you start introducing weights. And in the third month, you buy the third month separate. That's like a second or a separate package. But you will start incorporating weight training a little bit. And when you buy the program, it comes with a band. So you don't necessarily need to go out and buy a disc or <laughs> buy a disc. You don't necessarily need to go out and buy a um, weights. You don't need to buy weights. You will have the band that comes with the program. Each program has two phases. So you have month one and month two. In Sandy, I believe it's just called month one, month two. And in Focus T25, it is called phase one and phase two. In both discs, the intensity is kind of upped a little bit. 
The difference is that with Insanity, you go from your workouts being 35 minutes to 45 minute workouts in month one, and then in month two, you have to take that up from 45 minutes to 60 minutes a day. So it's very long, very grueling, very exhausting, and you need a little more time in a day to get through the program. And then that's not even counting time that you're gonna need to recover because they can guarantee you you're not gonna wanna jump right in the car and go to work. Focus C25 has the alpha and the beta phase and also the gamma phase separate, but the workout stays consistently 25 minutes through the entire program, which is what it is marketed as. It is 25 minutes every single day, five days a week, with Friday being a double day. On Friday, you are encouraged to do two programs back to back to kind of speed up your metabolic rate. But at, like I did, I did a program or a disc on Friday and then I did a disc on Saturday and had Sunday off. As for Sean T's training style, during Insanity I would say he's much more like boot camp. He is on you, telling you to push harder, dig deeper, screaming at you, not necessarily you, but you know what I mean. Like he is talking to the camera and to his people in his video like he is a drill instructor boot camp. He is yelling at you, really pushing you to your limits. In T25, he's more of a trainer. He's more what you would expect a trainer to be. He's walking around, correcting your form, making sure that you're doing proper form as opposed to just speeding through things. So he's much more calm, much nicer, I guess you could say, and a little more just relaxed with the moves that you're doing because he really wants to, you to focus on form over quantity. So if they're doing the squats, he wants to make sure that you're really getting down and deep into the squats rather than doing as many squats as you can. Whereas in Sanity, everything is super quick, 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 quick. Go, 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 go. There's no time to breathe and it is what it is. Now I'm going to read my computer for this part because I want to make sure that I include all of this in this video. I have it broken apart and again I will link this um, this, wow, this lighting is horrible. I will review this or leave the link down in the description box. But Focus T25 is 10 weeks long, 25 minutes a day, 5 days a week. It has HIIT workouts, burnouts, and resistance band training. It has two phases, Alpha and Beta. Alpha focuses on introducing form, speed, and agility. Beta focuses on increasing difficulty. You can also add on the third phase, which is Gamma, which I will include in the description box as well. Alpha phase is five weeks, beta phase is five weeks. There are little to no breaks and there are no recovery weeks. For Insanity, the first month is 35 to 45 minutes long. The second month is 55 minutes long to 60 minutes long. There is a recovery week between phase one and two, so you do month two, a week of recovery, which is still a workout, it's just less intense, and then you do month two. You need zero equipment. There are lots of high jumps, hit workouts, and horizontal and lateral drills. And you do get water breaks. Three minutes on, 30 second break, repeat throughout the program. So, which program do I personally recommend for beginners? If you are a beginner, I say to completely forego, just pass up in Sandy. It is a great program. It gives you the results that you want when trying to lose weight. But again, it is really, really extremely physically and mentally demanding. So much so that I don't ever see myself doing Insanity again just because I have Focus T25. So the way I see it, if I can get the same intensity in 25 minutes a day as I can in an hour of Insanity, I would be crazy not to go with the 25 minute a day option. Also it has the modifier so anytime you're tired you could slow down, do what the modifier does. Hands down, no doubt about it, I would choose Focus T25 over Insanity. While I still love Insanity and if you are ready for that level of fitness I say go for it. It will only improve you and help you with your fitness level but Focus T25 is just generally good for everyone. Everyone can fit in in their day. 25 minutes a day is 1% of your day. If you can't get a 25 minute workout, you need to prioritize your time better. It's awesome for mothers. It's awesome for you know people who work full time and you get great results. Great program. I will link everything you need to know in the description box including um, product links, product links with Shakeology which will accelerate your progress and your results. 
Uh, I will link information to my challenge groups. I will link information to the breakdown of the two programs. Everything will be down below in the description box. Please thumbs up this video if you would like to hear more about either program. And while you're at it, comment in the section in the comment section below letting me know your questions for either program so I can answer them. I hope this helps you guys and I will see you all soon. Bye.